Welcome back. Okay, in this second training video, I'm going to show you some of the other um, linguistic features within the FLAX system for this Contracts X MOOC. So over here, you have a menu of different uh, word list functions. Let's go to the keyword slider first of all. We've got this slider function. So um, the keywords from this text are related to this case. So they will occur in blue over here on the left. And as you slide further to the right, it's going to bring in more and more of the vocabulary and phrases. So basically, you can just sort of test yourself by saying to yourself, do I know these words? And as I continue to slide further over, I can increase my focus on different words and phrases within the text to help me identify what is key to understanding this text. All right, we also have um, topic specific words. So this is obviously about this case with Wood versus Lucy Lady Duff Gordon. So those terms are going to pop up and we see the terms like mutuality, deadweight loss. And then we have um, more general academic words, which are commonly used across all academic domains, such as option, similar, purchase, minor involves obviously these are just words that are good to know to be used in any academic context and and then we've got um, most frequent words from everyday english and you can see those are actually the most common words across the text okay so very quickly i'll just show you this other tab so this is showing you adjective phrases so common situation similar solution, profitable deal, real bargain, noun phrases, lack of mutuality, that's quite a nice one, uh, deadweight loss again, purchase price, uh, maiden voyage, and here we have verb phrases, asking price, avoiding lack of mutuality, um, endorsed by the British aristocracy. So if you, um, if you wanted to collect these terms, you could add them to what's called the cherry basket. So what you do is you just click on the term and then this collocation notepad will appear. So a collocation is essentially a, a phrase of words, vocabulary, that occurs in that order. So we often use this expression cover this concept when we're talking about learning something or talking about something that has already been addressed. And here you can click on the cherry icon and create a new category if you like. So we can call this contracts cases and then just click on OK. And I'm going to add that collocation. I also would like to go back and click on this one, this noun phrase. I'm going to add that to the same um, cherry basket that I'm creating here in Flax. Okay, so that's how we do it. And later, when you want to review the particular phrases that you've collected, they will appear here in your cherry basket. And here you can see lack of mutuality, purchase price, covered this concept. And you can either print this out or you can save it as a web page. There are, those are the two options for saving what's in your cherry basket. Here we are back in the Flex interface. And now I'd like to talk about the upper level of the menu here in Flex. So you can search at the article, sentence, paragraph or collocation level. And if we look at this word mutuality, and we want to see, okay, how many times does this word occur across this collection? And I want to see how it's used in paragraphs. So then I just click on um, this, this option and we can see that mutuality occurs only twice. And if you want to see which articles this um, term mutuality is being used in, you just click on the green arrow and it's going to bring you back to that lecture. So go back to search and I want to choose another word, let's say reliance, and I want to look at that at the sentence level. Okay, so there are 10 sentences within this collection 
on contract law that use this word reliance. And you can see it's quite often used here in this phrase, detrimental reliance. And this is a key term within contract law. Okay, so um, that's a little bit about search, and that's a really handy thing to have to go and find something that you heard Professor Freed mention, and you're not exactly sure which article it comes from, which um, unit, and this will be a, a quick way to find where he said certain things related to the course. Okay, now we're going to go to this collocations feature. Remember I said that collocations are words that occur in partnership with other words. So here we've got um, the top 100 collocations. Okay, so real bargain, if I want to see how that's used um, across the corpus, I can just click on that little cherry. And if I want to, I can add real bargain and um, those instances here. Um, so it's, it's grouped by part of speech, so according to grammatical pattern. So breach of contract, that might be another nice one um, to look at. Um, also here on the left, you can look at these terms. So let's take a look at the term contract, which is obviously very key to this MOOC course. And you'll see we've taken you to a larger collection within the Flax project called Learning Collocations. And this is a really huge database of language. And I'm just going to show you there are three different um, databases that you can search. I'd recommend the Wikipedia one because once again, it's a really large um, database of language. And you can see this word contract as it occurs as a noun. So nouns plus contract, so year contract, recording contract, adjective, okay, and then used as a verb, so contract the disease. So that's a very different meaning of contract um, from medicine. Um, but contract disputes, that would probably be quite relevant. So if I just um, click on that, it will give me language and context from Wikipedia to show how this um, is used um, in everyday English. Okay, and once again, if I'm keen to have that, I can add that to my cherry basket. So this is a way of boosting the collection from the Harvard MOOC and taking it much wider to show you how these words are used across much, much larger data sets from, for example, Wikipedia or the British National Corpus of 100 million words of English. Okay, so um, going back to our collection um, Contracts X, um, the next thing I'd like to show you is a word list of the entire collection. So this is all of the different um, words across the corpus. So you'll see obviously contract is coming up 143 times, which is not surprising because this is what this course is about. Okay, and then finally we've got um, lexical bundles, and this is how um, Professor Freed talks in his lectures. So he's often using expressions like, let me tell you, on the other hand, and so on. And this is just useful language um, for talking about key issues within the Contract X lectures, and maybe you can use these in your own discussions in the online forums or in your short answers um, in the final test. So you might want to use this expression in the case of, for example, or talking about the ladder of trust and so on. Okay, so that wraps it up for the second video. In the final video, I'm going to take you to um, a demonstration of the activities where you can practice with the um, content in the Contracts X MOOC and also across the larger databases to really get to know these key terms and concepts within this MOOC. Thank you and stay tuned.